Okay, so here you can kind of see my game, right? We have this house here, but this is kind of special game, right? So what we can do now is that we can go inside the house. Okay, we can enter the house. And you can see we have a TV and we have a computer. So if we turn here now, okay, so nothing is on the TV now. So we can press enter to use the remote. Okay, MCP terminal. Type your command. Uh, so I want to display something on this TV, right? So let me come up with a prompt here. So I just did, I need an image for a movie poster for an action movie about AI uprising. Okay, AI processing. So what's gonna happen now is that, yeah, as you probably have understood, we have actually connected our MCP servers into our game. So now we can actually execute images. We are running the latest OpenAI uh, GPT image one model here. And hopefully now when this is done, we can display our image now on this TV. So hopefully this will work. And yeah, there we have it. So you can see, okay, we kind of missed the text here, but we can change up that. So we can do another prompt. Girl creating or playing computer games in a Studio Ghibli style. So let's see what happens now. Do we change the image or do we keep the same? Okay, so you can see we got the response back here. Uh, the image has been created. Now we can just press ESC. Boom, we got it. So you can see uh, we can actually render images inside the grain created by our MCP server. But we also have a computer over here. So let's talk to that. So here we can do um, read my latest email okay so we have connected our email mcp server to into this game now and you can see we can check our latest email in my ai agent email here yes i found your latest email this is from our reddit post please i beg you so we can double check that yes that is correct please i beg you so you can see this is working pretty good but we can also do other stuff we can do web searches so um uh, let's find uh, the latest BTC price. Do a web search because I have connected uh, my uh, Brave Search API, or not API, MCP server to this game. So we should be able to do a web search just to find the latest Bitcoin price here, for example. Okay, so it says 94,000 something. Yeah, that is good. So that is working. Uh, okay, so you can see, yeah, 94. Uh, great. Send this uh, BTC price info to my email at, uh, yeah, my email, right? Com. Okay, so we can test the ESND email feature, if that works. So everything can be done inside the game. So this is something I've been thinking about for a while, but let's see if this works now. Uh, okay, so we have sent this. Let me check my email. Yeah, here's an email. Dear Chris, here's the latest Bitcoin price. Okay, so you can see your AI assistant. So this is something I've been thinking about for a while, right? I wanted to kind of connect these uh, uh, MCP servers kind of into um, a game. So I think there's something here. I'm not quite sure what this is going to be cool for, but there's got to be something, right? Change the image to display a nice art background. Let's do that. So there's got to be something here we can do, right? Because <laughs> I haven't really decided yet, but this is something I thought of last week, that we can actually implement these MCP servers into these games, right? Uh, so today I just wanted to show you how I did this uh, in like a simple setup, uh, because it's not that hard. If you think about it, we have two things with MCP. We have the the client, of course, and we have the server. So now I'm uh, kind of running both a client and a server at the same time. Uh, and I have a server to serve the images. So I'm just going to quickly go through how I thought about this and how I set this up. Uh, this game is also on uh, my public GitHub here, so you can check it out if you want to. Uh, I might even add the, the client server here if you want to try that out. Uh, but let's see now. Okay, so we updated and now we have an art image here. Uh, but let's talk a bit about how I thought about this and how I set this up. Okay, so how to explain this work, I got ChatGPT to create this flow chart for us. <laughs> it kind of messed up the title, but other than that, it looks pretty good. So let's say we are in the game now and we want to send a user query via HTTP into our backend. So this could be uh, do a web search on, yeah, whatever, right? 
And the next step now is going to be that the backend, that's our server.ts, is going to ask Claude which tool should handle this. Claude says use the web search tool, of course, because it has the information about what tools are available on our MCP servers. The backend will then find the correct client. We have created our custom client, so that is uh, very flexible when they have done that. I also have a video on that. If you want to check that out, you can probably find it on my channel, how to create your own custom client, because I had to do that in this case. Uh, the MCP client sends the tool request to the correct uh, MCP server via standard out. The tool server responds back to uh, via standard out again, and the backend send, uh, relays the final results back to the game. So we have kind of our HTTP server from the game, this post here, into our backend. So this is kind of wanted to, what I needed to set up to make it work. Uh, and from there, we can kind of do whatever we want inside the front end. So I choose like to display this, uh, I guess you saw it in this terminal style here. But you could have done this in whatever kind of fashion you wanted to. So that is what's pretty cool. And uh, it wasn't that hard to set this up. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to work and what was the best way to do it. Uh, but I kind of consulted with Gemini 2.5 Pro and we kind of came up with this solution. And it's been working very good. So, of course, we could have picked the email server here. That's that we did in one of our examples if our request in the game was uh, send an email. Right. So this is just uh, we picked the correct MCP server for the correct job. Right. And it's super easy to add new MCP servers. Uh, I can quickly show you how I do that now. So this is my backend server in my client, right? And here we have something called MCP. I can zoom in a bit. MCP server script paths. So here is where I just point to all the local MCP servers here. Here's the email server, the build, the index. Here's my Gemini uh, server. So we can try that out if you want to. Uh, the Brave server, and we have the e OpenAI uh, server that is the image generator. So I can just add a bunch of new MCP servers here if I want to, and we can use them in game. So I can show you kind of the Gemini server. This is uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro inside our game. So we can just do as Gemini to list five health benefits from strength training. So if you go out to our backend now, you can see here. So I'm just going to show you what happens. So we received the call to generate the text. That is the Gemini tool. List five health benefits. Gemini API, oops, return the text. Okay, here are key five, five health benefits to incorporate. So if we go back to, yeah, you can see this. If we go back to our game now, you can see we got the response here. So we have five different health benefits. So yeah, super easy to connect to, let's say, Gemini 2.5 Pro in this case. So it doesn't really stop what you can do with this since we can connect any kind of uh, server here. Uh, I just haven't had time to come up with something really cool, uh, but I'm probably going to do that in the upcoming future. And we don't really need to create a game like this. This could be any kind of front end you want, but it can be pretty cool. Let's say we have some kind of multiplayer. Other people can come in and connect to my MCP servers. I don't know. I haven't thought about this much, but this is just some of the ideas I want to explore more. Okay, so what I've done is I have added the MCP game on GitHub. You can find the you can see here, link in the description. So if you go over here, I have actually added, you can see here, uh, here it is. So this is my MCP game. We also have the OpenAI uh, MCP server if you want to try that out. I just added this in here. So this is the MCP game But I added some instructions on how you can connect this game to an MCP backend server or a client So basically you just have to run the client on uh, like a port 3001 that's what I do and We can connect to this game from this. So this is just the MCP backend URL and just connect this to your port 3001 and you should be kind of up and running if you have everything set up with your MCP servers. So yeah, check this out. It should be, uh, like I said, in the description. So yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna follow up on this video uh, when I have something else that we can integrate MCP servers into. Uh, but I just thought it was pretty cool. And uh, I kind of like the setup here with the TV, display images. I don't know what happened here, but we have the computer over here. Uh, I didn't work too much on kind of the, 
that this is set up. But I think uh, the house turned out pretty cool, right? We have the mailbox. Uh, and just imagine what we can do with this. So yeah, I hope uh, this gives you some inspiration. And maybe you want to try this out yourself. Follow the link in the description. Become a member of the channel. Maybe I'll do some more tutorials. There's been a lack of members videos lately. Uh, but I have some plans coming up that uh, I think you will really enjoy. I got some very cool stuff going on with the video. Uh, I'm probably going to do like a preview of that on this channel. Like a shorts this weekend so look out for that short i think it's gonna be pretty cool uh, but yeah thank you for tuning in and thank you for uh, watching my videos and we speaks again probably tomorrow maybe monday we'll see